Hey guys, welcome to the Real Estate Spot. On today's video, I'm going to discuss the National Housing Trust interest rate, which is the lowest interest rate in Jamaica. And if you stay until the end of this video, I'll show you how to use a National Housing Trust calculator to find out how much you would qualify for from the National Housing Trust. So let's get ready to start by smashing the like and subscribe button. Start by going on nht.gov.am. When we're on the National Housing Trust page, we'll go to Loans and then now we'll go on to what are the interest rates. So here we'll see a listing of the interest rates that are available for from the Housing Trust and we'll take it now in the different income band levels. So if you're earning minimum wage to $15,099 weekly, that is roughly um, $60,003.70, sorry, 96 cents for the month. So you'll see that the interest rate in this area for disabled person is 0%. If you're a new mortgager, 55 years and older, it is 0%. Also, if you're a public sector worker, it is 0%. And all other contributors, it's 0%. So you're right through the minimum wage to the 15,099 cents per week income ban it has zero percent interest rate from the nht so no interest rate zero interest you're paying on your mortgage you're just paying on the principal so if we move on now to the income ban of fifteen thousand and one dollars to thirty thousand dollars and ninety nine cent that is roughly from about sixty thousand and four dollars to one hundred and twenty thousand and three dollars and ninety six cent for the month zero percent for the persons that are disabled mortgages 55 years and older zero percent public sector workers zero percent just the same and um for all other contributions contributors we are seeing zero percent as well Going on down now on to the income ban of $30,001 to $42,099. We are seeing where the disabled person 0%. Um, sorry, so um for that category, a monthly income of $120,004 to $168,003.96. So for the disabled person, we are seeing it is 0%. New mortgages, 55%. And for um, the public sector workers, 1%. And all other contributors, it is 2%. So pretty much still low, still low interest rate when you compare to the um, interest rate from the other financial institutions, which are ranging from 69 to as high as nine percent so we are still 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 the lowest the nhd is so now if we go to the highest band now for the nhd highest income weekly band of forty two thousand zero one, which is roughly one hundred and sixty eight thousand and four cent um for the month we see where the disabled person will receive two percent interest rate new mortgages will get an interest rate of two percent also public sector workers three percent and all other mortgage contributors will receive an interest rate of four percent um for persons who want to know if, if they qualify as a public sector worker you can click here for more information so when i click here there's a list that comes up so they are saying that public sector workers are personally employing the government ministries 
department agencies and statutory bodies and it provides a list of what is considered um, central government educational institution and executive agency so you can click it and then now you will have an idea to see if you qualify but even if you don't qualify as a public sector worker the highest interest band for the nht which is a forty two thousand dollars and one cent weekly you are getting an interest rate of four percent which is way lower than the what the financial institution is giving note that this video is being done before the budget debate um or before the budget is finalized in the debate so listen out possibly there might be an in a decrease in the interest rate maybe or maybe not but most time the government will normally try to give an increase in either the 6.5 million that is given now for um the mortgage from nht or they normally go for the interest rate but i assume that they will might go for the interest rate because based on the market now i don't think it is a good idea to go for an increase in the funds because as you as the nht gives more money you will find that the developers and even persons selling their home will also increase the price for their home so with that sometimes it's a problem because it will give a rise to an increase in the already high prices that are on the market all right so that's the interest rate so now let's go now to the mortgage calculator and look at how you can get have an idea of how much income based on your income what your monthly mortgage payment would be like so we'll go to loans mortgage calculator and then now right here that it says find out how much you can borrow the nh team there's a link so you click the nh team mortgage calculator and the screen will appear right so let's do some rough checks right so for the 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 the, the, the minimum wage to the fifteen thousand ninety nine cents cents um, weekly we had worked that out to around estimate sixty thousand monthly so if i put in sixty thousand monthly right and say i was born in 1990 I'm now contributing to the NHT. I'm contributing over here. And I'm going to say first, no, I'm not a public sector worker. I'm not a hotel worker. I'm, my name is not on the title for a house in Jamaica. Note that sometimes that can be a challenge because they would say that you're not a first time home owner. But um, the NHT is hoping for discussion regarding that part and we'll have a discussion next video about it but even if your name is on a title for example your parent put your name on a title um, the NHT if you go in and discuss and we know the NHT understand that person's plan for their estate and so forth they will know that really and truly your name is on the title for estate planning and you're not really a, um, a current home owner or, a, proper, or you're a property owner. So they will understand and based on, I guess, the interview that will be done and so forth, they will still classify you as a first time home owner and will continue not disabled. And just to know that if you to qualify as a dis, um, disabled person, you have to register with the Jamaica Council for Persons with Disabilities. And that's where you will have to register to categorize a disabled, categorize as a disabled person. So we'll say no for that. 
Have you already received a loan from NHT? No. And let's calculate. So we are calculating, all right? So you see, at age, at nine, uh, um, uh, birth year of 1990, we are given 39 years to repay. Note that the interest rate, the terms for the years um, given is based on a retirement age of 70. So the maximum years I can receive to repay a loan from the NHT is 40 years. All right. So we see a breakdown. Build on your own line. You're given the full 6.5. If you go out the money to go on an open market, you're given 13, um, 6.5. Sorry. Look at the interest rate. As we explained earlier, 0%. Write down, except for the solar water heater. We'll discuss that another time on the different benefits and programs that the NHD offers to homeowners. Scheme unit, 6.1, um, 7.1, sorry. And as you see, that will be the maximum amount you could get for a scheme unit, a service lot, 4.1. 389 and this is these right here is a monthly repayment so this gives you an idea it is an estimate you know how that things will have to come in factor um such as peril insurance which is insurance for the home also insurance for you but using the calculator it allows you to get an idea of how much money you would need or based on the amount of money that you're earning how much you'll qualify for from the NHT. So the scheme unit based on the 60,000 salary. Scheme unit, it means that when you see the NHT advertising schemes or different development that they are offering, if you apply for those units, you based on the 60,000 a month salary will be given or not given, you are eligible for $7.19 million at a 39-year um, payment. So, you alone might be a problem based on the prices we are seeing for some of the units now, but it might be if you join with someone else, it can make up to the price of the unit. So, that is another thing to look at. So, let's start again. So, let's now... Make some changes to that. All right. Say I'm born 1985. I'm now moving. All right. I was working 60,000 one year ago. And my boss plans I'm going to get an increase of my salary. Right. So now for the month, I'm getting 75,000 for the month. All right. 75,000. All right. All right. So, see that we are getting an increase. One year ago, we got the increase. So, we're, so we can say, all right, well, let us give a birth rate of um, a birth, a year of birth of 1985. All right. Let's go calculate. All right. So, you see, okay, we are now given 7.8 for the scheme unit. 34 years to repay so you realize that the longer you take for home ownership you take it less terms so the best if you start young before the 30 before you're 30 years old or at least early 30s that you have all you're giving them longer term of years to repay the mortgage from the NHT. All right, so we are now in the second band. And the second band, which was the band, which is $15,001 to $30,099 weekly, which is roughly $60,004 and $12,000 and $3 band. That is the band we are in now and we are still Look at the interest rate column. We are still at 0% interest rate. And you see, we are still getting, if you want to build on your own land, 
20,000, we are getting $20,754.69 for the monthly repayment. You cannot get that from any financial institution. As I stated before, the mini, the lease on the market now is around 6.9. You are going to receive from a financial institution for the interest rate on a first time mortgage. So, we see that um, the NHT is still giving the lowest interest rate. Alright, let's now make some changes again. Still sticking to the 1985 age group. And we do some 1985. And we might go to our 19. 91 we show someone that received a full 40 years all right so we are moving on to the another incumbent so this time receiving 162,000 monthly right exactly all right so now you see them receive more income monthly the scheme unit price moves up we are now able to receive $12.9 million from the NHD for a scheme unit. For one of their scheme units. Payback of 53. And you get a 2% interest rate. Note that if you are a public sector worker, you are given basically a 1% discount of this 2% interest rate that you are seeing here. So a public sector worker will be given a 1% decrease in the interest rate from once you categorize as a public sector all right so with a 162 monthly salary um 6.5 and the built on your own land and the built on your own land we'll discuss bohl another time but basically is building on your own land or suppose your parents have a land with their name on the title they can write a letter and maybe even parent or anyone giving you permission to build on that land so you will get your 6.5 to build the open market in each you give your 6.5 and then you go to the financial institution if you need a extra makeup and we'll have a discussion at another time about the joint finance mortgage uh, program that the NHD offers with financial institutions. So you see this scheme unit. You now are given now $12.9 million for a scheme unit and monthly repayment of $53,992. So this is an estimate. You have an idea of how much money you will pay based on your income and a service lot. Note for service lot, um, the maximum 20, 20, 25 years, 20 to 25 years. So we'll look, this person 1985 given 20 years. So we'll see if this 20 years remain when the person is born 1991. So we use a calculator to basically get an idea of how the NHT do this calculation in deciding um, how much you eligible for first and the monthly payment that you will receive or that you will pay not receive not receiving any monthly payment you are paying that monthly payment all right so let us make some changes all right this first we're going to say about 1991 calculate all right so the 20 years is the maximum for the service lots or for lot and a whole if you're going to buy the land so far once so this time now same 160,000 but note that the scheme unit now you are now qualified now based on year of birth of 1991 for 14 million so you can see age is all of also a factor in deciding how much money you qualify for because previously when we did the 1985 the person was qualified I think for 12.9 million for the scheme unit 
So age is also a factor in how much you receive from the NHT. So the terms of years, 40. For the BOL, build and hold land, open market, you receive the 40 years. Scheme unit, 40 years as well. Note the interest, 2%. 2% except for the solar water eater grant or loan that is given by the NHT. And this 2%, if you are, as I mentioned before, if you are a public sector worker, you will receive an additional 1%. You receive 1% discount from this 2% interest rate, lower than the open the financial institutions are offering way, way lower. All right. All right, let's go again now and we'll make some changes. So now we're going to put ourselves now in the biggest income band, the highest one. So say we are working now 175,000 monthly. And we're born 1991, same way. Calculate, right? So we say we are two percent and we have um and we have fifteen point three million now we receive and so forth. All right, I'm gonna make some changes to that, put it a little bit higher. One eighty five. Calculate. All right. So from the 185 now, from the 185, if we are earning 185, see, we are given now 12 million as from the scheme unit, 40 years, and the interest rate of 4%, which is the maximum interest rate that NHT gives. The maximum interest rate from the NHT. So let's change now, make some changes again. We are playing around with the calculator, which you can do at home. So that you can have an idea and help with your planning for home ownership. All right, so we are moving now. We are... We are um, 19, let's take it to 1985. Calculate. All right. You see? Age again. If you look at the scheme unit price, someone earning the same in same monthly income and the person um born 1991. They receive more funds than you. And, that, and I think the factor in that is that they have a longer um, terms, a longer um, period to pay. So the, a 1991 person will receive a 40 years term while you, born 1985, receive 34. So let's make some changes and put in that we are now working in the public sector and um, see how that goes. All right, so basically the same amount is just now showing that the base of the calculation is based on a special interest rate applicable to public sector workers. So we look and we see we receive a 3% discount. So the NHG mortgage calculator is accurate in its calculation. So from once you input the correct information, so your income before tax, and it can be you can input it monthly, it depends on how you receive your pay weekly fortnightly monthly and yearly so it might be best if you well it will calculate for you because let's do a rough run on a fortnightly so say you're in the thirty thousand and one dollar income ban for the week so two fortnight two week so say all right you earn mm, 61 also fortnightly, right? And you're born 1985. Let's stick with the 1985. Same information over here. Um, 
um, you're a part of the public sector and so forth to calculate. All right, so you see, accurate. Because remember we mentioned before that persons within the, basically the third band, the 30,001 dollar to 42,099 cent from your public sector worker, you receive 2%, I'm sorry, 1% interest. 2% is given to other contributors. So, see now, it's showing the amount that here is for repayment and it's showing the amount that you qualify for. So the NHT calculator is very efficient and accurate in its calculations. And note that this is just a, um, a guide, guidance and how much you qualify for basically. How much you qualify to receive from the NHG based on your income that you have received. So go on the NHG website, check it out, put in your information and it will give you all the necessary breakdown of how much you'll qualify for. Note that now during this pandemic time, an eligibility letter is sometimes difficult. And even, even if you're not ready now for home ownership, what you can do is use a calculator to get an idea of how much you will qualify for. That's when you're ready and in your planning stage, because planning is key in home ownership, in your planning stage, you will be able to get an idea of how much money based on your income you are able to receive from the NHT itself. So using the calculator, we can see. And as, I, and as the note states, these figures are only estimate. Your NHT office will provide you with more details. And just to note before you approach NHT for a loan, in order to be eligible, you must have made at least 52 weekly contribution. That means you have contributed for a one year. And when you apply for it, 13 of them should have been made within the last 26 weeks immediately preceding the application date. So basically what they are saying is that when you apply for the NHT for a mortgage, the last 26 weeks, they look at the last 26 weeks and 13 of those weeks should have been made, I'm sorry, 13 contributions should have been made within the last 26 weeks in preceding the period that you have applied for the mortgage. So they look at those things to see if you have qualified for um qualify for a mortgage based on that time. And brand new, so there's a brand new open market loan is applicable to qualify contribution for purchases of units from housing development. So if you want to purchase from a housing development, not the housing trust, you receive the open market loan. Scheme units now from the NHG housing trust is, the, is based on a point system I, that they use based on the contributions that um, you would have done. And we'll discuss that another time, but just note that for a calendar year, January to December, you would have received 20 points from the NHT. And then now when, so basically I can have an idea. So you work for, say three years now you're working, that is 60 points you will receive. However, when you apply, they also give you an additional points based on income. And what they have said is that the higher your income, the less points you receive. The lower the income, the more points you receive. So they are catering because remember the NHT was set up to provide housing for low income persons. Even though some persons now might say they are not building homes for low income earners, but they try their best to cater for low income earners. So, as I said, use the calculator. I will show you again how to get to the calculator for the NHT. So, you go to 
the NHJ website and loans, mortgage calculator. You click on the mortgage calculator and it will carry here and right here is the link. So find out how much you can borrow with the NHJ and you click this right here. Um, NHJ mortgage calculator and the screen will um, come up. And you basically input your information, income, monthly, weekly, fortnightly, yearly, your age, not your age, sorry, your year of birth. And if you're contributing, how long you're contributing, tell if you're a public sector worker and you list out all the necessary information that the NHT would need to calculate your eligibility and how much you can earn. So as I mentioned, use this calculator to help you plan your dream or plan your journey of home ownership. So you, do, you don't have to wait until you submit the documents to the NHT to have an idea of how much you qualify for. You can use this very accurate um, mortgage calculator to decide and guide you along the way. Now when you have identified that you're ready to go ahead with home ownership, you gather the necessary documents. It is needed for the eligibility letter and you submit it to the NHC because that letter will help you to use, in most cases, for, to um, a realtor. Sometimes a realtor likes to see that you are really interested. And for that, that if you're really interested, they want to know that, all right, I'm not going to carry to a $30 million house. And you are only qualified for $15 million. So they like to see person with a pre-approval or an eligibility letter so that they can use it. And then also you can have it to use to when you are going to um, another financial institution to receive a mortgage from them under the joint program that the NHC offers. So interest rate, look at the interest rate. And basically here, if you're receiving a, a monthly salary, just divide it out by four and you will have an idea of which of the income bands you fall in and use it as a guide to have an idea of what the interest rate will be like. And always stay tuned and listen to budget when this time of the year is budget presentation, normally March. So you listen now to see if there is an increase, sorry, a decrease within the interest rate or an increase within the amount of funds that NHD gives for mortgages. So use the website the NHD provides and get all the necessary information that is needed. So now that you have an idea, you can use a mortgage calculator to gain an idea of how much money you'll qualify for from the housing trust. Hope you enjoyed the video and look out for another video soon. Remember to like, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.